President Trump likes to say that before coronavirus hit, he built not just a great economy, but... I built the greatest economy in the history of the world. We had the greatest economy ever in the world, in the history of the world. We had the best economy in the history of the world that the world has ever seen. The history of the world. Nobody even disputes that. I say it openly, nobody even challenges it. Um, I'd like to challenge it. You're saying that 2017 to 2019 in the U.S. is the best it's ever been economically. Trump did preside over an objectively good economy before coronavirus. And one day they walk in, they say, sir, we're going to have to close it up. But can we really call it the greatest of all time? In their heyday, the Roman Empire, the Song Dynasty, and the Mughal Empire each could claim a larger share of global economic output than the modern United States. The British after the Industrial Revolution, or China in the last 30 years, each with GDP and wages growing faster than Trump could claim. Even if we limit our search to the United States, how about the post-war prosperity of the 1950s and 60s? Record low unemployment in 1953 and 20 years of 4.5% GDP growth. While running for president, Trump promised GDP growth over 4%. And I actually think we can go higher than 4%. I think you can go to 5 or 6%. And again, as president. I see no reason why we don't go to 4, 5, and even 6%. In actuality, he's under 3%. President Reagan and Clinton each presided over greater economic growth. But Trump loves to talk about job numbers. Best employment numbers, best numbers in every single way. Even before coronavirus, Trump's job growth falls short of the Clinton years. In fact, Obama's final three years produced more jobs than Trump's first three years. Accounting for inflation, real wage growth under Trump can't compete with Clinton or with the 30 years that followed World War II. So no, it was not the greatest economy in world history, let alone U.S. history. The greatest economy that the world has ever seen. Frankly, Brett, and you can correct me if you'd like, but you can't because it's, it's fact. You can correct him, so please do.